Hey, what's good? This is your boy B. Grinch coming to you from no other place than South Central Coral Springs, straight out the underground. That's right. You're watching episode 702. That's 702. 702 episodes. I fucking love it. 702 episodes. That's fucking crazy. Think about that. This is my 702nd underground live show. That's fucking crazy. The, the, the way that this show has evolved over nine years is fucking incredible. All the different personalities that I've exhibited, all the craziness, all the shit that's just, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know. I'm just fucking, I'm blasted, blasted away by that shit. I fucking love it. 702 episodes. Unbelievable. Anyway, the effects of this sumo gummy I took around seven o'clock and then the other half that I took at, well, 830 has taken to effect. That is for sure. Because I'll tell you what, I, um, I'm high as fuck. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter because I'm still professional. I used to be high all the time smoking weed on this show. It's like fucking, it was like just the thing I would always do. I was always fucking stoned in this show. So now I'm on legal gummies because I'm an old man. Who gives a fuck? Anyway, let's start the show. What's up? What's up, Banafet? Let's everybody, let's introduce to you Glenn, who was on the last Anarchy Media Presents on Anarchy Media Television. That's right. Check it out on YouTube, Anarchy Media Television. We met Glenn on Anarchy Media Presents with B. Grinch and Friends. Glenn was on there. Glenn, you did a good job, bro. Nothing much. Everything's cool. Check it out. That was just, that just dropped last, 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 like last week. So check it out. It's a fucking good one. It's a good one, good one, good one. Anyway, I got this messenger message. I get them all the time. Hmm. I have something caught in my teeth. Not that you would ever know, but I'm not taking a chance and I would leave something in my fucking teeth. Hmm. I wonder what that was. That could have been something from the Chinese food that I ate earlier. Yeah, I know you tried. You did. Ooh, you did a good job. I have this like frog in my throat. Some shit's going on with my voice. I don't know what the fuck is happening. What's up, Nicole? Nice of you to join in. It's nice to see you. You and Glenn. Who else is going to come in? I don't know. I sent a bunch of invites out. So hopefully people will respond. People obviously don't look well at their, at their watches. It said nine o'clock. That means nine o'clock, sh- nine o'clock sharp. What the fuck do people know? People don't care. It's not like it used to be. It's not like it used to be. I'm not loved like I used to be. That's all right. It gives me a very somber, somber, somber fucking mood. The fact that I'm not appreciated anymore. Just by a couple. Just by a couple. Anyway, I help people, and I do that the best I can, like by answering messenger messages. This one's from Nicholas. All right, check this out. What's up, Victoria? Victoria has arrived, everybody. This is fucking great. Now the party's fucking started. That's all. That's all. Nobody else has to tune in. The, 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 the party's fucking here. That's fucking awesome. What's up, Victoria? How you doing, sweetness? Let me get through this. Let me get through this uh, Chinese. I thought you'd like that. Yeah, I, I like Chinese. I'm doing well, Victoria. Thank you very much. Especially now that we have we have enough we have enough participants for a foursome. We have two women and two men in the room, as far as I know. And I, that would be fucking great if me and Glenn were like passing you guys around. That'd be fucking awesome. I would love it. I'd fucking love it. It'd be fucking great. Anyway, let me get to the show. <laughs> I tease. No, I don't. A uh, messenger message from Nicholas. B. Grinch, how can I make money without getting a job or working? Well, I, I honestly, do you have any idea how I can accomplish that? I didn't uh, finish reading that. Once again, this guy actually, this guy Nicholas wrote me this on Messenger. He wrote, B. Grinch, how can I make money without a job or working? Do you have any idea how I can accomplish that? So I thought about this one for a little while. I was thinking, hmm. How does this guy make money without doing a single thing? And then I thought about it. He can always pray to God. Yeah, I hear he's big on answering prayers. Like three quarters of my friends list have in one way or another thanked God for answering their prayers. So if he can answer their prayers, I figure this guy who's not working and needs a job or needs money rather without the job and he can pray and God will answer his fucking wishes, I suppose, or his prayers. Yeah. Isn't that great? It's fucking awesome. I love it. I should really fucking pray to God. The only thing is, is me and God, we don't fucking really see eye to eye on certain things. 
So it's okay though. It's cool. We have an understanding. Um, anyway, in the title, in the title, I wrote that something was going down with Drake and Kendrick Lamar, right? And you all, you all had tuned in to see what's going on with Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Well, with that being said, I really didn't give a fuck about it, so I didn't read into it. But you can go to TM and fucking check them out. I'm sure they have the, 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 the down low on what's going on with Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Who gives a shit what's going on with Drake and Kendrick Lamar? I remember Drake when he was an actor, when he was on that show from Canada that I always watched on Sundays. Um, I forgot what it was called. Fuck. What was it called? doesn't matter what it was called i'm not gonna fucking keep i'm not gonna even try to remember but it was from canada and it was about this high school and then these kids grew up together and drake was one of the actors he got shot in the back and he was in a wheelchair for the rest of the fucking show for like 10 seasons he was in a wheelchair he was a cripple drake that's all i see when i see drake i see that fucking kid that got shot in the back at a high you know in his high school and was in a wheelchair fucking in high school fucking retard that's what i see in drake i even i can't believe i, I don't know I'm not going to get on him fucking on a Drake fucking tangent because you guys might like Drake and I'm fucking ruining your parade. Let me get a sip of this green tea, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was odd. That was very odd. I don't know if you guys saw that on the screen. Yeah. Monster. I like, that's all I drink is monster drinks. And green tea. Wow, I don't know what just happened, but something flashed across my screen, and that, like, fucked me up. God damn it. Anyway, wait for your friend to de-escalate the situation when you get your ass kicked by the police. Hmm. I got it. I got it. Fucking, the, the, hunt is, the hunt is done. I got the thing that was in my teeth, finally. Got it out there. That was a long fucking excursion. And uh, hunt down to try to get that motherfucker. But I finally got it. It's out of my mouth. We can all go to sleep and rest well tonight, knowing that um, I didn't have to wait till I brushed my teeth after the show to use dental floss to get that fucking thing out of my teeth. Because I hate when shit is caught in my teeth. I hate it. 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 Anyway, this is what you do. If you uh, get your ass kicked, your friend should uh, continue recording the video of you getting your ass kicked and shouting, what's the problem? What's the problem? Because I saw that on a video today. That's exactly what the kid did while his friend was getting his ass kicked. He just shouted, what's the problem? What's the problem? And just kept videotaping. And actually, that doesn't accomplish anything. I don't think. I don't think. Anyway. Oh, this is a good one. Check this story out. You're going to love this shit. Because I fucking loved it when I read it. I actually saw it. I saw the video. It was fucking great. Seven dudes barge their way into this jewelry store with hammers. They're all masked, wearing masks and shit. There are seven of them. But when they get in... When they barge their way in to the fucking jewelry store, they're met with his owner or whoever with a Desert Eagle fucking handgun, like a 40 caliber Desert Eagle with 10 rounds in it, I would think. And he points it at these seven guys. And I'll tell you what, he has 10 shots to hit seven fucking guys. I think he could do it with three shots left over. If he misses one, he might get him on the second one. I don't know. But I'll tell you what, they did their best to barge the fuck out there. I would Victoria saying, I keep having this thing flash across my screen and it's flashing across what Victoria is trying to say. He's instigating laugh my ass off video. Page. Oh, of course he is. That fucking moron. He's, I get my ass kicked more because the cop is taking the frustration out of what my friend is doing by yelling. What's the problem? What's the problem? Uh, the cop beats me up even more because of that. And my friend's videotaping it. And I get my ass kicked even, even more. I had something up with it in my throat. I got shit flashing across the screen. This is one crazy fucking show for 702. I'll tell you what. Yeah, with three left, he might get one. I don't know. But they barged their way out. They all jumped into about three cars. And as they're all jumping into their cars, right then and there, this cop sees them and fucking goes chase, pulls chase on them. And uh, they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. They failed their mission and probably got caught down by the police. They were in three cars, though. So I'm imagining that. Unless this guy got back up right away, two of them could have went one way and the other, and uh, the cop could only stay on one. I mean, that's physics, right? I would think. I don't know. Anyway, this homeboy gets busted stealing a powdered donut. You know, out of those, out of those drawers, you know when you go into like, like a gas station and they have those clear cabinets that you open up and you take the tongs 
and you grab your donut or whatever, your donut or your, your Cinnabon, whatever you might be choosing to eat, you get that and uh, you put it in your own hand and then you put the fork back and you close the fucking drawer. Well, this guy grabs a fucking powdered donut. It's in his fucking hand and he gets busted by the register guy. And the register guy forces him, this fucking vagrant, this fucking homeless dude that's hungry for a powdered donut wearing a mask so he doesn't like get fucking COVID or any kind of illness because his immune system is so fucked up because he's fucking homeless. Try to steal a fucking donut. He's probably disgustingly dirty. That's what, I, that's what the point that I'm getting to. He has to be filthy, 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 filthy. And he's holding that donut and the register guy made him put it back in the fucking cabinet with all the other donuts. How fucking disgusting is that? Is that fucking crazy? That's fucking disgusting. Some poor bastard's going to get fucking... God knows what that homeless guy fucking had because he has no immune system. You know what I was fucking getting at. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, this is a good story right here. Check this out. This guy was getting out of jail. Okay. And I don't know what the guy did. I don't know why he was in jail. I don't know what the big deal was when he was getting out of jail. But for whatever reason, this reporter was there. That as soon as this guy walked down the walk, the cop released him. This guy was walking down the, 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 the sidewalk or the platform that leads him to the parking lot. As soon as he hit the parking lot, this reporter fucking sticks this microphone right in his fucking face. So you know what this guy does? He slaps the fucking microphone right out of this guy's fucking hand. And the cop comes up and fucking arrests him for assault. I like that. The guy didn't even get to leave the fucking parking lot. He fucking got arrested right then and there. Gets out of jail, goes right back in. He wasn't out but fucking three minutes. Before that reporter fucking set him up. He did something to fuck him up. He knew that this guy was going to react by putting a fucking mic in his face. That's fucking crazy. Crazy. That's diabolical. Diabolical. Tell you what. That takes thought. I need a drink. This is nice that the, the, this, this audience is staying. I like that a lot. You guys fucking rock. It's good. I'm enjoying myself. Two dudes are arguing, right? And this one guy's yelling to the other guy, yo, I'm a G. I'm a G. I'm a straight G. And this other guy's fucking arguing and arguing in the other guy's face. So the guy that's not the G, the G just keeps saying he's a G. The other guy slaps the supposed G. You know what the G does? Takes a fucking gun out and shoots that guy right in his fucking face. Right in his face. That'll fucking teach him to keep his hands to himself. I'll tell you what, it's fucking crazy. Unbelievable. Shoots him right in the fucking face. Well, he slapped the guy. Hey, listen, man, what can I tell you? Now, check this out. I, I'm really wondering this. It's going to make me sound fucking bad. And I don't really care because I really am wondering this. No, nah, I didn't think you were going to leave that easy, Glenn. You're the fucking man. Hey, Victoria and Nicole and anybody else that might be out there. Glenn was my Glenn was my guest on um, Anarchy Media Presents with B Grinch and Friends. Anyway, yeah, let me get back to that. The G is as Victoria was so kind to remind me that I was talking about. Yeah, the G. He kept saying that he was a G. Oh, I already told you that story. You see those sumos? Next episode, I'm gonna fucking endorse this fucking company sumo because they make the best Delta Nine fucking gummies that are legal. Because I am fucking crazy stoned right now. Crazy stoned. On legal Delta Nines. Fucking crazy. Fucking love it. Love it. That's why this fucking next story isn't going to be a shit for me to fucking say. And check this out. I'm not racist. And I don't want this to sound fucked up. Right? But, uh, you know, if a black dude and a white dude are getting in a fight, if you ever notice, like in front of a, like, say, white guy crowd, you know, and the black guy starts winning, like the black guy gets on top of the white guy and all the other white guys are standing around, what do white guys normally do? They normally fucking separate the two. They don't want to see that white guy get beat up. So they take the black guy off of the white guy. Right? Now, same scenario, but with a black crowd and the white guy starting to beat the black guy up. What do the black guys normally do when the white guy starts winning? They don't separate the two. What they do is, is they all fucking jump in and start kicking the motherfucker. I see this all the fucking time. I see it all the fucking time. They jump in. They don't want to see their boy get fucking beat up neither. But the thing is that rather than separate them, they just all kick that motherfucker's ass. So if you get into a fight with a black dude and you're amongst other black, other, you know, other black people, 
I guarantee you, dude, you're not just fighting that kid. You, you might want to just pretend you get knocked out right away because otherwise you're going to have 20 other motherfuckers kicking at you and your jaw and your head and shit like that fucking you up. That's all I'm saying. Psh, case closed. Case closed. I was wondering that, you know, but what can I tell you? Hey, you want to know something funny? I, 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 no, I'm not, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. I was going to tell you guys something really fucking hilarious. Hilarious thing that I tell, I tell everybody, but it wouldn't be wise of me to say it on the air because it sounds really, really bad. It's something I can't even say on the air. How do you like that shit? Because it's actually very racist. I have a racist joke. Yes, I do. I'm not racist, but I still think racist jokes are funny. Of course they are. You have to have a sense of humor, don't you? I think if I'm Jewish. I think Jewish jokes are funny, fucking funny. What the fuck do I care? You can't laugh at yourself. Who can you laugh at? Anyway, this homie is attempting to rob a convenience store. Check this out. This is a fucking great story. I think this is the last story of the night. All right, how long have we been on here? We've been on here 17 minutes. That's pretty fucking good. I'm fucking hitting records as of late. Anyway, this guy's attempting to fucking rob a convenience store. All right. And um, he has a gun and he's sticking it in the register guy's face. And this bystander comes up and says something. So the guy turns away to point the gun at the bystander. And he turns his back to the fucking register guy who grabs a fucking caning stick, a caning stick. Do you guys remember what a caning stick is? A caning stick was used on that dude, Michael Fay in 1994, that American kid that was in Singapore and got arrested for vandalism. They caned the shit out of him with a caning stick. And everybody was all upset that the U.S. couldn't do nothing. That, he, that was the price he had to pay. He broke a law in Singapore and that was his punishment. They caned him like 600 times. Well, they fucking with a caning stick. I keep telling you that you have to do your own show on TV. I don't know. I don't know. That's the goal, I suppose, Glenn. That's the goal, I suppose. Anyway, let me get back to my story. You are got some rude motherfuckers. I'm in the middle of telling a story. You just want to interrupt me like that, Glenn. Where are your manners? I fucking raised you. Oh, you think blonde jokes are funny? Because you're blonde. You see, that's perfect. I'm Jewish. I dig Jew, Jew, Jew jokes. Black people should dig black jokes. Racist jokes, whatever. Because black people are actually racist themselves. But we all not. I'm not even going to get into that fucking shit. And blondes should be able to laugh at themselves. You know what I mean? I love a good fucking silly dumb blonde, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm not saying that's you, Victoria. I'm not saying that's you at all. I'm not, I, I wasn't inferring that you're the silly dumb blonde. I'm just saying that I like me a silly dumb blonde. What can I tell you? Anyway, let me finish. Let me finish. Is, is it you? That's totally you? Well, we should talk. We should talk. DM me. Yeah. All right, I'm done. Anyway, this fucking register guy starts caning this motherfucker in the head with a caning stick, okay? And he beats the shit. This guy drops the fucking gun, and he, he gets caned about 700 times with the caning stick, and it was the worst day of his fucking life. He had a gun, and he got caned. He got, he got the gun caned out of him. Unreal, unreal. Well, that's pretty much the show, guys. I mean, unless you guys have something you'd like to add. I mean, normal people that are watching this in replay, they could tune out right now if they want. That's fine. I have no more material after this. But maybe you guys might have some material. Anything you'd like to add, Victoria? Nicole? Glenn? Anybody? The guy couldn't use the gun because... All right, Victoria asks, why didn't he use the gun? Because when he was pointing the gun at the other guy and he got caned in the fucking head with that caning stick, that's, that was like electric shock. That was like an electric shock to this guy's fucking skull. And that gun probably came flying out of his fucking hand at the first shot. It's a caning stick. That's fucking crazy shit. Especially if you know how to use it. I wouldn't know what to do with a fucking caning stick. The fuck what I do. I'd hit it. I wouldn't matter. But if you know how to use a fucking caning stick, you could fuck somebody up. I'm telling you what. Anything else? Would anybody like to add anything? You'll add something on the replay? Just like you to do something like that, Glenn. To add something on the replay. That's fucked up. I don't go back and do replays. I mean, I actually do. I watch the show a couple times. All right, yeah, I'm fucking done here. I'm going to bore you guys to death. All right, so listen, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Peace, love, and anarchy. This is your boy, B. Grant, saying, hey, keep it real. Love each other. Peace out. You guys are the fucking best. I got one thing to say. Wow. Yeah, you guys fucking rock. You guys have a good night. Thanks for tuning in.